don't remember when I last filmed. I think it was last night. Day two of being ill. It's not as bad as the last day two. But I think that's because I'm on antibiotics. I've had four so far. Because I had one at like one o'clock or something or half twelve or twelve. I did that stupid thing where I took all my vitamins on an empty stomach and then I felt mega sick and I had to rush into the kitchen and get something to eat. You think I would have learnt from the first time without ill I felt. I'm at Tesco in case I didn't say. I'm gonna go in. I need to get a little trolley. Is there any? Can't see any. And then I'm just gonna go to office. I've got a lot to do but it's not all going to get done so I need to prioritise like, what's most important, what can I get away with doing in a week's time, that sort of thing. I need a wee, I've just had one. I just want to quickly watch something that I just filmed on my phone. Oh, I did a video for Maggie Oliver t last night. It wasn't what I wanted but it, it had to do. It's already on my channel, I need to schedule it for tomorrow at 11, not tomorrow, Thursday 11am. Right, I forgot I was filming then, I was like, do I want that phone in there? Yes I do. Right, I don't even know what I want, like I want stodgy food but at the same time, I don't know. I'm trying to eat normally and try and drink a lot of water, hence the sudden urge to go to the toilet. But then again I'm going to the toilet too much anyway. I'm trying not to film too much on here because it won't fit on the computer and... The stuff that I can't even talk about at the moment, which is a killer, but I'll be able to talk about it in a couple of days. So maybe in the same vlog you'll find out. Possibly not, because I have filmed a lot. But I'm going to go in, get some food, get some water, etc, etc. I don't know what time I went in, but it's now 15.32. Spent £50.86, I had £50 in cash and I kept thinking, don't go over, don't go over. But it went over by 82 but I just put the 82 on my card but I got quite a lot of things I feel so ill honestly like and I have doctors tomorrow afternoon but I know what will happen I'll either feel a lot better or I won't and she won't give me anything for it I'm going out my way to give my dad a lift and he's not replying so he does this to me all the time if I'm ever like out and about and I know he's somewhere and he doesn't have his car I'll try and get hold of him to give him a lift but he always messes me around he either doesn't answer and then answers when I'm driving and obviously I can't reply to him then because I'm driving or he'll answer when I get home and expect me to go and pick him up which I'm not going to do so I've just said if you're not replied in two minutes I'm going to be driving They're so weird, they've been parked behind me this whole time watching me and now they've just decided to drive through the car park. Weirdos. They're literally waiting for someone and they've gone and parked on the pavement now. Absolute weirdos, people can actually walk. This is why people are like unfit because they don't actually walk anywhere. Like I don't park near the door, I park down here. I've parked down here for a long time. I think when I first started coming I'd park up there. But it's more hassle, it's harder to get out of. So I've been parking down here a long time actually. I don't know when, but I am. I don't have much to say because I honestly feel ill. I need to go home. Well, I need to go and see my dad first. Then I need to go home. I need to drink a lot because I'm getting more and more thirsty, which means I'm getting more unwell. And then I need to modify my to-do list and do the most urgent and important things. And I know he'll reply once I've set off and I can't check my phone and I won't be checking my phone. He does this to me all the time. Sometimes when I know he's in a certain pub in another town and I say I go to a shop or I'm nearby, I'll text him, I'll be like, if you reply in 10 minutes I can pick you up. And then after five minutes, like, I'm five minutes and I'm driving. And then, then about seven minutes later when I'm two minutes into driving and I've waited 10 minutes for a reply, yeah, you can come and pick me up. 
and then obviously I don't see it and then I'll drive home and 15 20 minutes later when I'm home I'll read it and I'll be like well I'm home we offered me a lift you could come and get me I'm, like, I'm not coming and getting you it's like a 20 minute drive each way so I've stopped offering lifts I haven't done it for a long time and now I'm sat around waiting for a reply but I know I'm not going to get one so what time did I send it three minutes ago Oh, just as I'm telling him that I'm going to the, I'm going to the office and I'm not waiting anymore. Four minutes after I sent the message, he's like, he wants a lift. So he wants a lift now. Oh god, it's pain. God, I've never seen a woman with such a big beard before. <laughs> I know that's cruel, but she does have a beard. See, this is interesting. You're going to find out if I go and pick him up. I bet you there's an 80% chance I will end up having to go and pick him up. I'm totally out of my way as well. She didn't even come out with any shopping, weirdo. She's been in there longer than me. Yeah, he wants a lift. We got the frog. We got the frog. Yeah. She's got the frog, everyone. <laughs> you a good girl, aren't you? You miss me. You miss me. You miss me, missus. Did you? Did you? Oh, I missed you. Smelly. Yeah, I've had some chocolate cake. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Hi, I'm home. Oh God, I don't feel good at all. Surprise, surprise, I'm getting worse. Who predicted that? Me. Me. Um, my video has got 24 minutes. That's good, actually. Plus processing, so it's probably going to be about 45-ish. I've got a lot. I'll show you quickly what I've got. All of that, all of that, all of that. That come out with six pack. The Gusta Parks. Um, do you want to see my shopping? I can't even get near the counter. I honestly can't get near the counter. My head's pounding. I'm getting a sore throat. Brilliant. I don't want to film for too long. I'm dying to a way still. I didn't pick my dad up. Oh, it took me 10 minutes to get in. There's nothing in here for doggies. It's not for you. I can't believe this came recorded delivery. For what I paid for it, but it's like pasta parcel. I've got two ear jewellery items. One doesn't look like it closes, one looks like it's a fake jewellery thing. But it's not advertised as fake jewellery. The other one's not fake, the other one's super, super cute. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. It's a butterfly, I'm going to put that in. It's half past one. <laughs> On now what is Wednesday the 21st of March what did you say February going back a month here normally I go ahead with my mum's I literally I literally forgot to film I was gonna film a long time ago but I've been busy I've been doing I mean I've not been mega mega busy I had a very upset stomach for a few hours. I don't need to go into detail about that. Don't know where it came from. I think it's sorted. I don't know. I hope it is. Like it's one in the morning. I'm literally going to go to bed in the next few minutes. I'm not feeling as ill as I did earlier. I think the antibiotics are kicking in. So I don't know if I'll mention this illness to my doctor or not because if I say I was ill but I start to feel better because I'm taking antibiotics, which You've not prescribed to me for this illness, so you can tell me off. 
my dad reckons she'll tell me up if I tell her, but I think if I'm going to tell her that I'm ill and she potentially prescribes me something, I'm going to have to be honest with her. So, I've been sorting videos out, I've got one uploading, I need to schedule the Maggie Oliver one because it's ready, it just needs scheduling for Thursday at 11am. I think I've got one up on, going up on Thursday saying, I think it's called Maggie Oliver's a Legend, so it'd be like Maggie Oliver Day, won't it? got one going up tomorrow, basically telling everyone not to report crime to the police. <laughs> I stand 100% by that. Um, from experience, everyone has experiences that they should be able to share and I'm just sharing mine and giving my advice and I have an Instagram that I'm going to put in the description from now on so if people want to contact me on there, it's easier to contact me on there than on YouTube and also the main reason was so if Maggie Oliver does see the video and she needs to get older of me or she can get older of me which I'm hoping she will I feel like I'm going to have to do another video, I think she's not going to see that, but I think if I keep putting videos up about Maggie Oliver, maybe she will, hopefully she will, I would like to speak to her, even if it's just once, to tell her about everything that's happened and get advice from her point of view. I've got like a toothache, which is annoying me. I had my last lot of painkillers at like half ten. Technically I'm due some at half two, but I don't want to take any more because I've had one, two, three. Oh, I've only had three doses because I've only had three lots of antibiotics and I'd three a day. So technically I could have some pain relief, but I'll only have it if I can't sleep because of the pain because I don't want to take too many tablets. So earlier I said that I would tell you what my day involves tomorrow. I hate the fact that I'm still up because a, I'm ill, even though the antibiotics are working, I will have gone a good 10 hours by time I have my next lot, so then it'll take till the second lot to kick in again. I have, like tomorrow and Thursday I think, I think I've got four days in total worth of antibiotics. Anyway, tomorrow, if everything goes to plan and I manage to get up and I don't feel like I'm dying, the first thing I'm going to do around 10am is go to M&S, then I'm going to come home, unpack the shopping, then I'm going to go to the office and take my dad his lunch because it's, that was that's the only time I will have to do it. Then I'm going to go to Tesco, I've got quite a few things to get from Tesco, bicarbonate of, of soda, is that what it's called? I don't know why I'm filming it on here because, you know, I'm not going to remember because I'm not going to watch this video and other things. I got like a lot of it today that I wanted but I just need to stock up on a few things. Hopefully I'll remember it all without having to write a list because I have to learn to write a list right now. Then when I leave there I'm going to go to my hairdressers for a blow dry and then I'm going to book in my next snip 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 colour. Not changing my colour by the way, like when I wear colour I just mean roots and like the underneath gingery. Get rid of that. And then when I leave the it's a mad dash across to my doctor's. Um, 3.45 is my appointment. My home appointment's at 1.45. But if she's running behind, I'm going to be like pushed for time. So when I leave the, depending on the time, like if it's not like, if I manage to get out by half two, which is the goal on which I really should, that gives me an hour and 15. If I've got an hour and 15, I'm going to come home for if I get home for quarter to three I'm going to come home till about ten past three then head to my doctor's and get there for half past going like sort of half past I think because she might be running early I might get to spend a bit more time with her I'm hoping I do because what I want to go and see her about if my health is okay I'm not going to go about my health but if I've got the time there's something I want to talk to her about if she's got the time like if she's ahead of time then I'll be able to do it, if not I won't. So then I'm going to see her. Then I've got to rush all the way back to the office, well not rush because like get there as fast as I can basically because I've got to do work that I normally do on a Thursday, I've had to change it to Wednesday for one week only. So I've got to do that so I'm hoping I get half an hour with my doctor, I'll be lucky if I do but if I do it'll be quarter past four. Then it'll take me 20 minutes to get there, so it'll be 25 to 5. Hopefully I can get straight on the computer because I want to use the computer that he 
will be on. So I'll text him when I'm leaving the doctor and saying, look, I'm going to be there in 10 minutes. It's probably going to be 20, but I know it'll take him longer than 10 minutes to get off the computer. And I'll say, can you please make sure you're off there because I want to go straight on there when I get there. So I'll probably get on there at 20 to 5 and then I'm going to rush through it. So if I rush through it and I don't do any chatting, I can do it in about an hour. So that'll be 20 to 6, get on for 10 to 6, 6 at the latest. Then I'm going to put the tea in the oven. Then I've got quite a few things to do. I need to sort a few things out. I need to schedule all my videos that I haven't scheduled. Oh God, before I go to bed, I need to take two lots of blog pictures. Because one of the blog posts is going up at 10 a.m. in eight and a half, eight hours, 20 minutes. And the other one's going up, I think, the day after. So I might as well take both lots of pictures. So I've got to do that before I get in bed. Because even though I'm planning to get up, before 10 a.m. I'm going to be rushing around and I'll forget to take the pictures and the post will go up about the pictures which I don't want to happen so I've got to do that in a minute so I have lots to do tomorrow night and then I've got a busy day Thursday but I will talk about Thursday on Thursday because I just want to get the next two d days for well, the next day out of the way hoping for seven hours sleep I'm hoping to wake up feeling like I do now because I don't feel too bad I feel better than I did earlier but I don't feel better than I did on day one of it so I'm still quite ill but I've got antibiotics tomorrow, I've got antibiotics Thursday but obviously if I wake up feeling worse I will tell my doctor what I've got I'll briefly mention it anyway but I'm hoping to get an half an hour time slot with her but the last few times because I think she's not happy with me because I did something stupid and I tried to rectify it before it was too late but yes that's what happens when things get complicated but hopefully she'll give me the time because I want to talk to some, about something quite detailed and the last few times I felt like she was rushing me out definitely the last time she definitely rushed me out at 15 minutes maximum and it's a 15 minute appointment and I know it's a 15 minute appointment but she's never been like this with me before she's let me have as much time as I need and she's also kept me in there before now but and I won't be seeing her for three weeks, so I need the time, basically. This toothache's really bad. But I need to go and take the pictures, and I need to get in bed. Hopefully I'll be asleep by half two. I'm going to set my alarm for half nine. That'll give me seven hours sleep. Then I need to get up and straight in the shower. I need to decide what I'm wearing. The latest I want to leave the house is half ten. Because that'll give me three hours to get the shopping, bring it home, unpack it have my lunch, take my dad to his, go to Tesco and then get to my hairdressers. Oh god, so half ten's my latest that I can leave. And I keep going, oh I'm going to leave at 20 past one and it ends up being three o'clock. It can't be one of those situations tomorrow. So for tomorrow, as long as my health doesn't get worse, I should be able to pull it off. I want an earlier night tomorrow night if I can. If I can pull it off, I will definitely pull it off. Thursday's going to be busy, Friday's going to hopefully be super chilled. So, you're going on charge. I don't want to fill this memory card before tomorrow. 